Hey guys, welcome to Cajun Homestead. It's December 4th, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm getting into the bee yard and I seen a, this hive right here is doing pretty good. Looks like they're doing a little bit of orientation flights. Nice healthy hive. Um, these two hives right here, um, this one she's doing, both of these are new queens. And I had a hive that was right here that went queenless, so I combined it with this one, but they're still small. So I need to add a sugar brick to them and maybe even move them over to like a, a double screen board on another hive. But right now I'm gonna get some some uh, medium supers put on top and um, put a sugar brick inside and let them eat off of that right now until I can get some double screen boards made up. Now this one is a very small hive. It was a late queen. I think I put them in there in like uh, closer to the end of August, which I really shouldn't have bought queens that late. But she has a little bitty cluster of bees. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this medium on top. And I got this sugar brick right here. I'm just gonna lay it on top. Kind of slide it over, get it on top of the cluster. Let the bees move out the way. See if they. It'd be kind of interesting now what i did i made mine uh, i kind of made it like a farm it because it's they're kind of soft um and i put some essential oils up in there all different kinds uh stuff to help the bees out and i think like a, a half a cup of pollen i mixed in with a uh uh five gallons of uh the sugar so not very much pollen. That's what's that. That's why it has that yellow tint on it. Looks like they're starting to climb up on it. We'll give them a few minutes and come back and check them, see how they're doing. Okay, I kind of got the same situation right here. Got a little cluster going on right there. A little bit more bees. Get the sugar brick. I'll just set it down right there, easy. There we go, it's sitting on top of some wax so that keeps them from squashing them. Looks like they're climbing up on it pretty quick. Checking it out. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I got another one. It's got an Appy tablet on it. it. Looks like they're eating it up pretty good. It's got a pretty good number of bees in here. All the same, I'm gonna put them a sugar brick also. Like they're eating up on that Appy tablet. Let me go ahead and scoot some bees out the way. I'm surprised how calm they are, being that it's kind of cool. There we go. I don't need this here because I got this bottom I mean this top built with rims around it so it'll stay just like that perfect and that sits down pretty good 
That's what I like about those covers. You don't need a feeder trim or anything. All right, let's get on to the next one. Let's check out this one. This one I had fed some two to one. They've got Appy Tablet. They look like they're doing really good. They're eating up that Appy Tablet. And I could see honey all the way out to the edges. So I'm going to leave them alone for, for now. Let's check out this next one. Same thing. I can see honey all the way out to the edge, so I'm going to go ahead and leave them alone. Can't remember what this one. Oh, I got one trying to get me in the head. Should have put my veil on. Okay, these guys right here don't have a shim and they don't have a cover that has a shim. So, and this is one of the smallest hives I got. Another late queen that didn't get a chance to build up. And you can see she's only got maybe two frames of bees in there had them a little bit of sugar right there this is one i'm gonna have to put over a hive sand I'm, I'm sorry i'm gonna have to put over a double screen board and um get them to be warmed up by another hive because come january with her not being able to build up enough bees Well, let me put that like that. Hopefully that'll keep them going until I can make those double screen boards. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this like this. Keep the heat in there. Put this over. I'll keep my heat in there. Just like that. Just that those flat covers won't fit over those sugar bricks, so you gotta have something to give you a little feeder shim. Really should be only about an inch tall. But you use what you got. Gotta go find some more hives that need some sugar. Got a few more blocks left. Oh, found some Christmas ornaments. <laughs> Decorate the beehives. This little hive right here I think I'm going to put them, they've got a sugar, just a plain sugar brick on there, but I want one with all the uh, oils that I put in. You can see they're, they're on that sugar brick. So let me get them a block. And as you can see, I took away the uh, feeders off of that. Hives. The Mappamay hives don't allow you to put any sugar bricks with the feeders and I don't like feed them in the in the um, feeders themselves because I find that the bees are not coming up in there when they're small. Okay we're gonna they're a little hot so I'm gonna put one on this side. Move them out of the way like that. And lay this back over. And that works really good. Get you a foamy, and then, then you gotta latch it on the second latch. If you don't have the feeder, you put it up there on the second latch. And it pulls it down real tight. And you can see the ones that came out there going back in. This hive right here is kind of light now. It has a, a cover with a shim on it, so I should just be able to put it on top. It's a new hive also. <laughs> Thank you. 
Got a nice little cluster on it. Okay, I'm back. Took one on the inside of the nose, the nostril. And let me tell you, when you take this thing on the inside of the nostril, I don't know about you guys, but I go to sneezing. Just about blew my brains out. Let me see if I can get this cover on without them coming after me again. Okay, let's see if I can do without getting stung on this one because I'm just stubborn about going to put on that dang jacket. This one's not a big one either. Now this hive right here is a queen that failed and they went ahead and requeened themselves in October. So not very much population. She had started to lay and was laying good, but then when it got cold, kind of shut down. And she's got bees in there. But they need some help. Let's put them up. I think I might move this hive over there to that other hive. That's a real strong hive over there. I'm going to put the sugar brick right on the top of the cluster. Then I'm going to take the foamy and put it right on top of that. And take the shim, which is nothing but a medium super. So um, they're, not having to, they're not having to heat up this whole space here. I got this, the foamy on top of the, on top of the, uh, the cluster. And I'm just really just storing the rest of this stuff here until I'm ready to take off the the um, shim. All right, let me see what I got going on right here. Oh, this guy didn't win, so I took his sign. I don't see any mite drops. I see a bunch of trash. Best thing for a politician sign on the bottom catching trash. All right. So I guess that's all I'm going to do today. And they're coming in and out. Like I said, it's a very small little cluster, but it was a very late queen. And I won't know what type of queen she is if she survives until the spring. So maybe if I get them double screen boards made before our next cold front, I can set them on top of that hive there and they can keep them warm. All right guys, thanks for watching.